What is going on? Everybody here in the YouTube verse universe. Y'all know who it is. But tonight, a lot of bad shit went down. And I mean a lot of bad shit. Everything from my girl getting hands laid on her by a piece of shit to me being put on the edge again. And I have a remedy for all that. Starting with Trevor Packer, AKA Thump. And we're gonna start it off like this. It's my girl Taylor. I love you, babe. And also, shout to my two boys. Shout to my two boys. Ali and Isaac, I love you, boys. And Taylor, I love you, babe. So Taylor, I hope they, I hope that you like this. But to thump, more and more commonly known as Trevor, I want you to know, I don't know how things are where you come from, but where I come from, when you lay your hands on a woman. That is grounds for an absolute no-holds-barred ass-beating. So we're going to start it like this. And to any of the cops out there that wants to arrest me for beating this man's ass, I have only one thing to say to that. I'll turn around, put my hands behind my back. I won't fight. I won't run. And all I got to say is this. Read me my rights. Now, to my boy Gangara, got a question for you, brother. Do you not agree that what that piece of shit did to my girl, do you not agree that that man deserves an ass whooping? By show of hands and by show of comments, how many of y'all think that that motherfucker that let his hands on my girl deserves a goddamn ass beating? How many of y'all think that that man deserves to have his ass beat? Cause that piece of shit put his hands on my girl. Exactly. Oh yeah, I'm a damn sure she shake, bro. I'm a damn sure of that. I'm a damn sure that she's safe. I made sure that her and both of our kids are safe. And they're good right now. They're doing good.
Now, we are going to take it back to a little bit of old school. And when I mean old school, I mean this. Let's see how many of you guys remember this shit. So right there, y'all. Had to restart because I accidentally hit the wrong button like a fucking dumbass. Sorry. And then hit it like an idiot. Sorry. That. But it's all good. Cause we're about to do it like this. Resolviste el caso. Todo mientras te remojabas en la tina. Audible. Hay más para imaginar al escuchar. You guys ready? And to Ali and Isaac, I want you boys to know that when you get older, I want you boys to remember this next line. For any hater that comes across you, when you guys get older. I want you guys to remember this and to never let these guys win. Never let the haters give in. What are you doing? You spend all this time And to all the real fans that are in chat right now, I want to say one thing. Y'all motherfuckers are badass. I fucking appreciate the hell out of you guys. And you know, 
Last year at this time, I lost my purpose for living. I really did. I lost my way last year in a very severe way that I didn't think I would ever be able to come back from. But let me tell you something. When Taylor and my two sons came into my life, they gave me a reason to live again. They gave me a reason to fight. They gave me a purpose. You know, everybody says that that God doesn't exist, but I'm telling you right now, He does. I know for a fact that He exists because He put Taylor in my life. He put my two sons in my life. He gave me a purpose, a reason to live, a reason to fight. He reignited the flame that was in me that I thought was lost. He gave me a reason to get back up and keep going and do what I love for a living. Which is inspiring all of you guys to be the best versions of yourselves that you can possibly be every fucking day. And let me tell you right now, I am beyond proud to call Ali and Isaac my sons. I'm proud to call Taylor my wife, even though we might not be married yet. And I can honestly say that I'm glad that I'm back to who I used to be before all of this started. And to Taylor, I want to say thank you for coming into my life and breathing new life into me. I want to say thank you for, for giving me a reason to live again, a reason to fight. Hey, yo, Gengar, can you believe all these haters in the chat, man? All these idiotic people running their mouths, talking all this shit. It's actually quite funny. Just shows how jealous they are, man. Got a bunch of jealous people in the chat, I see. <laughs> Got a whole lot of freaking haters in the chat, but hey, it's all good. Yo, I got you on some Bring Me the Horizon, man. I got you. Most people don't know what it's like to live here. In Texas, we understand hard work. Ooh, 
I haven't done Kim in a long time, dude. I'll have to relearn the lyrics on that. But, I do have something for you. Now, we're going to take it up a notch here. And we're going to finish this off with a classic here. And when I say classic, I do mean 80s type classic. Now, by show comments, how many of you guys remember the movie Eddie and the Cruises? How many of you guys remember that movie? Because if you don't, I got something for you. This is... This is On the Dark Side. Hi right, y'all, with that being said, I do have to bounce around because I got stuff I gotta take care of. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you guys did, you already know what to do. Hit that like, subscribe, notification button. I'll pop down below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys whenever I see you. But uh, yeah, I love you guys. As always, stay humble, stay positive, and keep being yourselves, man. I love you guys. And to my girl Taylor and my sons, I love you guys. And uh, with that being said, I'm out, y'all. Peace.